Okay, we're underneath the hood of our 1968 uh, Chevy Nova. Um, real surprised with this little guy whenever you stand on it. This is a 400 small block. It's got equal length inch and 5 8 ceramic coated headers on it, a TM1 tarantula intake manifold, a big AFB carb, a huge k and air filter for this thing. It has power steering, does not have power brakes, but it does have a dual stage master cylinder on it, but it doesn't need power brakes. It has four wheel discs on this particular vehicle, and it stops as good as anything in the, in the building. It's a great, great running, great stopping vehicle. It has a four pass aluminum radiator with the correct full shroud on the other side and a seven blade clutch fan also to go with it. A new alternator, uh, all new hoses and belts, new wires on the uh, plugs, new brake lines. Engine compartment is absolutely gorgeous and it, 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 it doesn't need a single thing. Uh, the uh, fender wells are just as nice and clean as could possibly be. Chrome valve pan covers, chrome air cleaner cover with a 400 designation on it. It's just a beautiful engine compartment, a great running vehicle, and when you see the test drive and listen to this guy, it really catches your attention. Let's do a walk around, see what it looks like outside. You're at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today our special guest on the floor is a 68 Nova. A little different than most Novas. This thing has a 400 small block in it. So it handles well, it does have a sway bar on it, it has four wheel discs. You'll see all the undercarriage photos and all the amenities that it has, all the performance upgrades on the undercarriage. But we're going to do a walk around on the outside now. So let's take a look at this guy and see what we can find. Obviously it's orange and black. It's a great color combination on this thing. The hood fitment is beautiful. You can see where it goes on to the uh, fender wells where it transitions up to the headliner and back this side. Both sides equally as nice. Absolutely beautiful. The paint, the fit, the finish on this car is just stunning. It's been cleared over so there's no edges on the um, uh, stripes on this vehicle. Nice deep black finish on the stripes. Nice orange finish on the, uh, on the car. Just a great looking combination. The grill is the original plastic type grill that's on it, or aluminum, I guess I'm not sure. I guess they are aluminum on these. SS de designation in the front. Uh, the black aluminum isn't uh, pitted or, or marked in any way. The, the bright trim around it is nice as would be. These are normally painted silver. This particular one is painted black. I think it adds the, the uh, aesthetic appeal to this particular car with all the black accents on it. Trim rings around the uh, Headlights, nice. This is all real nice. The chrome with the nice black insets on it. Chrome on the bumper is just absolutely beautiful. You can see the fitment is very nice on it too. It's not off deviated one way or the other. It's a real great fitment on it. This uh, headlight basil is the same as the other one. And again, you can see the chrome with the black inset just as really nice as can be. Uh, even your trim that goes across the front of the hood and down both sides of the fenders. Everything lines up as it should. The anodized aluminum is as fresh and nice as you'd ever want. Great looking front end of this car. Let's see what's on the side. Okay, down the driver's side of our Nova. You can see the paint is just absolutely beautiful on this vehicle. Cowl induction designation on the side of the cowl induction hood, which it actually is. A really nice, uh, really nice hood on this car. 396 on the front around the uh, side marker lights. We know that isn't right. It does have a 400 small block in it, so it's actually bigger than the 396, and believe me, it runs a lot stronger than most 396s you can build in the car and put in there. Plus, it's 100 pounds lighter on the nose because of it. Finish on the front fender. The lips are real nice and sharp on it. Really, really a nice uh, paint job in this car. Super Sport uh, designation on the bottom of the fender. The wiper arms and blades are correct for this car also. Trim around the windshield, really, really nice. Uh, tinted window in the front uh, also. There's no marks on it from the wipers or anything. Really nice looking car. Roof is laser straight, looks like a, a wet uh, coffee table. <laughs> Just as nice and uh, reflective as can be. No marks or deviations or dents or dings or anything in it. No marks in the paint. Very, very nice. Front fender to door, to rocker panel. 
You're not going to get much better than that, guys. That's as nice as it gets. Drip edge, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fuzzies, you know what? The fuzzies appear to be original and they do not need replaced. They don't. And I, I, they appear to be original yet, but they absolutely do not need replaced. Chrome on the door handle, just as nice as you'd ever want. This lightly tinted glass on the sides of this to match the front windshield. Uh, trim around the wing, very nice. And a little piece of rubber missing here. It's the original rubber on it, yet there's a little tiny chunk. It's not going to cause it to leak or there's no uh, wind noise issue with it, but there is a little tiny chip out of it there for some reason. Again, paint on the door to the quarter panel. Look at that. That's as sweet as you'd ever find one, ever. Sail panels, there's no marks or paint issues whatsoever on it. Trim around the back window, which is also pitted. Absolutely no dings whatsoever. A set of aftermarket speakers, you can't see them in the vid, but there are two aftermarket speakers on an absolutely perfect hat shelf on it, hat rack. There's no issues whatsoever. Even the trim around the back end of the uh, um, hat shelf is just as fresh as you'd ever want to find. Quarter panel. The fender lips are rolled up in just a little bit to keep uh, the tires in the front are a little narrow on us, narrower on this vehicle, and it's as big a meat as you can hang underneath the back end. There's very little clearance there. That's why they've rolled the original tin. It's all tin. There's no putty or mud or anything in it. It's professionally rolled up in so that there's no interference with the uh, a tire whenever you get on it and it squats some. But it does have air shocks in the back. Quarter panel, really nice on this car. Again, tin. Nova, identification on the back. Wow, this is really a nice straight, straight car. <laughs> Down the driver's side, there's not a deviation. The doors line up absolutely flawlessly. Uh, everything is nice and nice as could possibly be. Again, four wheel disc brakes, uh, five spoke weld type uh, wheel on it, polished aluminum. I'm going to say that they're five inch in the front and they're probably at least eight, nine inches in the back. Narrow in the front though. Great down the driver's side. There's not a single uh, deviation on anything. No imperfections in the paint that we can see. It's really a nice car on the driver's side. Let's see what's out back. Okay, back end of our 68 Nova SS car. Look at the gap on that, just like the hood in the front. Absolutely gorgeous, both sides. A little over an eighth of an inch, and the same thing at the base of it here. Same exact thing. Look at the paint on this thing. The, the paint is absolutely beautiful. You can't feel the uh, black from the uh, orange. It's really, really cleared over nicely. Nice deep black stripes on a bright orange finish. I don't know how much brighter you can get with a vehicle. They don't see you in this one. they got to be blind. Tail lights, nice and fresh uh, plastic on the lenses. The, the anodized aluminum trim around them. Black through the center here, the, the way it should be for an SS car. SS designation on the back. Look how this lines up. Everything lines up just beautifully. Same on this uh, tail light, the uh, right hand tail light, the same as the left. Fitment of the bumper is just absolutely flawless. Look, no matter how you look at it, everything lines up just perfectly. Chrome on a bumper, same as the front one. It just looks like it's, it's better than new. They never chromed them this nicely when it was new, ever. The fitment on this thing is just astronomical so far. Great finish, great paint, great fit. We haven't found a single thing yet. Let's see if we can find something on the uh, passenger side. Okay, passenger side of our 68 Nova. Again, Nova on the side. Side marker light, beautiful. Here it Sharp edges on the tin, uh, no filler anywhere on this thing, none. Edges are really nice and sharp on it, rolled up in again on the side here. All tin. Trim around the back window, same as the other side. There's absolutely nada. Sail panel the same way. Again, our whiskers are absolutely beautiful. I can't believe they're still original. They have to have been replaced. Uh, yeah. 
At any rate, they are very, very nice and don't need any attention. Handle the same way on the uh, passenger side. Look at this. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. Absolutely not. Drip rail. Nothing. No dings at all. Nothing. Forgot to mention, mirror on that side and mirror on the uh, right-hand side, too. The door fitment to the rocker panel, to the front fender, to the quarter panel is just absolutely as nice as you would ever hope to find one. Again, ah, there's a little dingy right here. It's like somebody put a little chalk on it right there. I found a little ding right there. What if I hit by a stone? I really don't know. It's only 50 years old. I wonder what could have happened in that amount of time. Okay. Again, super sport on the bottom. To the front fender is really nice as can be. Again, nice sharp fender lips on it. Look at this. Nothing. It's just as smooth and straight a transition as you would ever hope to find. Ever. Again, 396, we know that's not right. It may have started life as a 396. That's a possibility. I do believe it was an SS to start life with. It does have a 12 bolt rear. It does have a heavy suspension in the front with the uh, uh, sway bar. Uh, it had disc brakes in the front. Definitely has disc in the rear now. So it might have started life as an SS uh, car with a 396. I really don't know. I do know at this point it houses a 400 small block that's built. Makes a heck of a lot more horsepower than a 396, even though the 375 did. So <clears throat> it's a serious piece of equipment. Beautiful color combination. You saw me go over the whole car. The only thing I could find was that one little, probably a stone ding from somewhere through the years. You can really, you have to really look at to, to find it, but it's in that little piece of stainless trim around the front of the windshield. No marks on the body anywhere. No paint chips, no scuffs, uh, no imperfections in the paint that we could detect anywhere. Both sides laser straight as can be. Uh, the paint on the hood, the striping and everything is uh, cleared over. It's just as smooth, just glass smooth everywhere. The paint job in this car is just exemplary. It's a very, very nice paint job. We're going to take it for a test drive here in a little bit so you can see how it runs and hear how it runs. And we'll do an interior uh, video for you now and uh, show you what's inside. But the outside is as sweet as you'll ever find one. And it's available here at Hangster. So definitely take a look at our uh, website because it's going to surprise you at what you can buy this car for. Now we got a fuel gauge that's working, a telltale tack that's working, voltmeter that's working, oil pressure that's working, carries 50 pounds cold. Temperature we just started it, so um, you know it'll it'll be coming up here shortly. Wipers, wipers work. Nice looking truck, car.
in Daytona Beach, and we're underneath the 1968 uh, Chevy Nova. Uh, I'm really excited to bring this car to you because and present it to you because it's a car that's a driver quality car. It's not a high-end car, but it's also not going to be priced as such. Uh, this car just has so many features to it. I, I, we got to start at the beginning here because there's just so many things to point out underneath this car. And again, it's not going to be a high, high, high dollar car for you either, but check this out. Sway bar in the front, rack and pinion steering, power by the way, power steering. Disc brakes in the front, huge calipers, brand new rotors, brand new hardware. Uh, everything just as fresh and new underneath the car as you could possibly think here. Uh, eight and a half, nine quart, Moroso uh, oil pan, brand new starter with the heat wrapping, the heat shield around it, and around the uh, solenoid part of it also. Brand new flywheel and McCloyd clutch and pressure plate with this vehicle too, just installed in it. 400 small block, fresh, just redone, and let me tell you, this thing cooks. Uh, inch and 5 eighths, equal length headers to it. The subframes, as you can see, are totally undisrupted. They're very, very great condition. Fender wells are nice as can be. The floor pans are original floor pans on this car. Not redone, don't need redone. No dents or anything so far to point out to you. Where they transition over to the uh, rocker panels, which are the original rocker panels. No rust on this guy anywhere. M21 four speed Muncie transmission. Three inch collectors transitioning into two and a half inch uh, pipes going toward our Flowmaster mufflers with a crossover pipe, an H pipe, which is a great addition to this vehicle. You can see no oil leaks whatsoever on the steering, on the oil pan, on the bell housing area, or on the transmission. There are absolutely no oil leaks whatsoever on this vehicle, or the tail shaft. <laughs> this car is absolutely stunning. It's really, really neat underneath. Uh, drive shaft loop, gee, I wonder why that's there. Subframe connectors, uh, very high-end ones, uh, uh, square tubing uh, welded to the uh, rear subframes and also to the front subframes. Give you pretty much a, uh, a full-length uh, frame on this vehicle. Structurally, it really adds to its, uh, its strength. Uh, supports underneath on the floorboards are the original ones from 1968 yet. They're not marked up. They're not dented in any way. No one's made any attempt to jack this up on the floor pans. Really straight as an arrow underneath so far. Parking brake uh, appears to be functional too. Has a functional parking brake. Um, shifter nice and clean. All the shift rods are nice and straight and clean also. Hurst shifter in this particular car. There's not one thing so far to give you a negative uh, connotation on. This car is just we're halfway through it, and there's not one single thing. I'm really excited about the uh, uh, performance uh, uh, add-ons that we have on this vehicle for a medium price vehicle. You're going to be very impressed with the price that we're going to sell you this car for. But let's go do the other half and see what we got there. Okay, our two and a half inch pipes transitioning into um, Flowmaster style mufflers. Brand new, and as you can see, the rest of the exhaust system is also the same way. Brand spanking new on this puppy. It's just as uh, fresh a one as you could ever have. 12 bolt Chevy rear, posi, 411 ratio. Um, Lakewood style traction bars, multi leaf springs both sides. Uh, neglected to mention, it does have some uh, smaller, uh, not quite as wide uh, wheels and tires in the front. As big a meat as you can hang on the back of this thing, though, without interfering with anything. It's got some serious rubber on the back of it. New uh, U joints, drive shaft appears to be redone. The floor pans, uh, where they transition up over into the trunk area, all that is original. It's undisturbed. It's it's unmolested in any way. It doesn't appear to have ever been any uh, perforations on it anywhere. This car is as original and nice underneath as you could ever ever expect uh, to find one. <clears throat> two and a half inch pipes going into. Uh, two chrome tip dumps uh, right at the end of the uh, springs, uh, about halfway back on the uh, rear quarter panels uh, behind the wheel. Real nice uh, look the way uh, they, they transitioned them out the side. Original gas tank, 
Yeah, it looks like somebody must have got mad and punched it with their fist right here. But other than that, that's the only mark I can find underneath this whole vehicle. Drop downs in the quarter panels are as they were when they were new. Very sharp edges on them yet. Uh, never been redone. Everything on this car is just as sweet as can be. Floor pans in the trunk, like I say, are original and undisturbed. Uh, the structural supports across the back, which are usually deteriorated on these cars, like they were when they were in 1968 yet. And again, 12-bolt Chevy rear. I can't see a single thing under this vehicle uh, that I would... Uh, disc brakes in the back. I think I neglected to mention that. Not only do we have disc brakes in the front, we got discs in the rear of this guy too. So you got four-wheel discs, you got rack and pinion power steering on this vehicle, you got a new clutch and pressure plate, you have no oil, no oil leaks whatsoever, you have an entire new high-capacity exhaust system on it with an undisturbed, unrusted chassis on a 1968 Chevy Nova. Wait till we show you around this vehicle and the engine compartment. You're going to flip out. This is a nice car. Oh! <laughs>